So we're going to look at some function composition here. And we'll do the, let's do part B and part D. So in part B, we got F minus G. And usually we're going to see this with parentheses and then the of X part right here. And what that really means is the f of x function minus the g of x function. And I have f of x at the top, g of x also at the top. So our f of x, x squared minus 15x. And then minus our g of x function is x plus 5. Now, you should notice there's a mistake here. I really need to subtract the whole quantity x plus 5. And while we're grouping with parentheses, let's be consistent and group up the entire f function as well. Now we're going to distribute that negative sign on the g of x part. So it's negative x minus 5. So we got x squared minus 16x minus 5. And that's the answer to uh, part b here. All right, it's domain. So we're looking at a polynomial. And its domain is going to be all real numbers, which we can write as negative infinity, comma, positive infinity. And another way to think about this, there's two domain rules. Uh, one is do not divide by 0. And the other rule is don't have a negative square root or an even root. And we're not dividing anything here, and we have no roots, so there's nothing to worry about, and we have everything in the domain. So now we're going to look at part D. It's just written as f over g, but it's f over g of x. And just like before, this means f of x over g of x. So I can already tell there's a chance to divide by 0 because we have a fraction. So we're going to write our f on the top x squared minus 15x divided by our g, x plus 5. Now, there's not too much reduction you can do here. I can factor an x out of the top, but that's about all I can factor. And there's no reduction, no cancellation happening here. x minus 15 is not the same as x plus 5, so those do not cancel. Uh, so this is the answer for the first blank here. Now we're going to look at the domain. Now this domain is not written as what are the valid x values. Its domain is x should not be whatever I put here. So what I'm going to do is switch to red and I'm going to basically divide by 0. So I'm going to set 0 equal to the denominator. Subtract 5. And now, uh, you probably heard you cannot divide by 0. It's still true. So this is the x value that's bad. This is the one that would have made us divide by 0. So this negative 5 is the x value you're not allowed to use. So make sure its domain is x is not negative 5. <laughs>